welcome to Snowy Creemore in this winter wonderland at Windswept Farms. While most people are heading indoors this time of year, we're going to take you for an outdoor picnic. But don't worry, there's lots of food and drink to warm you up. So come on, let's finish the setup and wait for our guests. So whether you're entertaining in a beautiful setting like this in the country or in your backyard, there's a few essential things for entertaining outdoors in the winter. Number one, pick a spot that's a bit sheltered. I picked this because it's behind the trees. Secondly, assume your guests are not going to be seated very much. I've got a couple of chairs just in case, but for the most part, they're going to be standing around and mingling to stay warm. So I'm just going to finish up my setup here because my guests should be here any minute. Okay, so while most of my food is already warm inside and it's in thermoses ready to serve, it's also fun to warm up some food outside. And a Swedish log is the perfect way to do this. So I've had these logs cut for me and cut cross-centered so that there's a little bit of a center area that I can actually put some kindling in to actually start the fire. So after about an hour, it looks like this. and about three, four hours, it'll look like that. It's a great source of heat, but also it's amazing for cooking. So whenever you're using outdoor flame, or flame anywhere for that matter, it's all about fire safety. If you've got a fire pit, that's ideal to put the log in. In this case, I've made sure that I'm in an area that's nice and snowy, it's got nothing combustible, nothing flammable around it. That's super, super important. It's always about fire safety. Better safe than sorry. So there's nothing like a little bit of hot chocolate to warm up your guests outdoors. But in this case, I've done a s'mores spiked hot chocolate. So it's just like hot chocolate, but it'll get to even warmer. So I'm gonna pour a little bit of hot chocolate in my cup here. And then I'm just adding on top of that my s'more garnish. And there you go. It looks like my guests are arriving, so the timing could not have been better. So thanks for joining us. Now it's time for me to enjoy the party. See you soon.